Welcome to Edge Kids. Welcome to Edge Kids. My name is Lisa and today you are joining us for part seven, yep, seven of our series Born to Pray. Now, I don't know about you, but my passion for prayer is growing. My desire to pray, it's growing. The different ways that I'm learning to pray, that's growing as well. And the different types of prayers that I'm praying, that's growing as well. Now, and I think that's pretty similar to you guys. So I want you to remember that you were born to pray. It's chatting with God. It's thanking God. It's asking God for our needs, for help, surrendering, trusting God. These are all the ways that we have been learning to pray. And guess what? I love that we know that God hears every prayer and God answers every prayer. And now for one of my favourite parts, drum roll please, drum roll. Let's hear from one of our kids. What prayer means to me is that God's always listening to you and He's always by your side wherever you are. A miracle that has happened in my life is that once my granddad had some difficulties with his heart, so I started praying. After a few days later, I called him and said, are you feeling any better? And he said, I'm already perfectly better. I'm at home. And I was like, God did a miracle in my life. He is the one true God. And whenever you need help, talk to God because he's your best friend forever. <laughs> Amazing. I love hearing you all sharing about prayer. You know what? All of you, our kids, you are living lives of prayer and I love it. All right, I've got a few questions for you now. Now, I'm going to ask you, you are allowed to yell out the answer if you want. Are you ready? Okay. If you wanted to get better at football, who would you ask to help you? Yell it out. Okay, okay. All right, there's a few names being yelled out, but if that was me, I would ask a football coach. That makes sense. Pretty general, I know, but I would ask a football coach or like a professional footballer. All right. If you wanted to get better at cooking, who would you ask? Mum, dad, yeah, okay, grandma, yeah, fair enough, the good cook's great. Or a professional cook, maybe a chef, maybe someone who's, who's studied cooking things, amazing. Okay, next question. If you wanted to get better at praying, who would you ask? Oh, me, that's, that's kind of you. Do you know what? That's a good question. Do you know what, Jesus, that's a good answer. That is a good answer. Well, that is exactly what the disciples did. In the Bible, they wanted to get better at praying. So they went to the best prayer they knew. They went to Jesus and Jesus taught them an example of how to pray, which is what we call the Lord's Prayer. Can everyone say the Lord's Prayer? Come on, everyone say the Lord's Prayer. Amazing. Matthew 6 verse 9 to 13 says, this is the Lord's Prayer. It says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Wow, that is an incredible, incredible prayer. And there is so much for us to learn from this prayer. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to split this prayer. It's like we're going to cut it down the middle. We're going to split it in half and we're going to look at half of it today and half of it next time because the Lord's Prayer can actually be broken into two parts. Everyone say part one, part one. Part one is prayers about God. And part two, kind of the second half of the Lord's Prayer is prayers about us. So today we're going to look at part one. Everyone say part one, part one. Amazing. So part one is prayers about God. So to remind us of that, I'm just going to write the word God up here. So prayers about God. All right. I have printed out the Lord's Prayer and I've cut it up into different sections so we can kind of slow it down a little bit. Sometimes we can read scripture and go, oh, slow it down. What are we really praying? What is this model of prayer that Jesus gave it? So the very start of the prayer says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. All right, I'm going to put this one here. Amazing. There we go. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. What is this talking about? This is actually talking about God's name. So I'm going to write name over here. This is talking about God's name. Now, Jesus could have just said, oh, hey, God. 
But God's name is actually really powerful. Do you know what? He says, our Father. Notice how it says, our. It's a way of reminding us that it's not just my Father, but we are all in God's family together. He is our Father and He's personal. Father, it's not just, hey, there's a stranger in the sky. No, it's saying, hey, Dad, hey, my Father. So God's name is that first bit, our Father in heaven. Hallowed. I don't know if you've ever heard that word before. No, it's not like, hello is your name. Hallowed. It actually means like holy. Holy is your name. And it's a reminder that God is holy. He's actually special. There's actually something incredible about Him. So yes, it's, hey, Dad, it's familiar, but it's also, wow, God, you're holy. So the start of this being about God's name, there's so many names of God. He's our Father, He's our Lord, He's our Shepherd, our Shield, our Peace, our Provider, our Saviour. There are so many other names that we could use for God. But this is how Jesus teaches us to start this prayer. All right, what's the second line? Do you remember it? Do you know it yet? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Here we go. Your kingdom come. We'll put that one there. Your kingdom come. This part is talking about, yep, this is a giveaway, kingdom. So I'm going to write kingdom up here. He's talking about kingdom. King. God is our king. I want you to think about that. God is our king and he has a kingdom. So it's about his kingdom. Do you know what this is saying? It's saying, God, we're not just coming to him going, God, here's my list of everything. No, Jesus starts by saying, God, I want to pray your prayers, your kingdom come, your prayers. What do you want? You want the best future for us. You want the best. So God, I want your kingdom. I want you want what you want to come. That's what that is. All right. The last part of it. There's so much in all of this, but I hope this is helping you. All right. I nearly forgot to put it up. The last part of it says, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There we go. What does that mean? This is actually talking about our will, God's will, God's will in this. So God's will. Amazing. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you remember how we talked about that we can trust God? We talked about surrendering prayers, trusting prayers. It's like saying, God, you're the boss. Your will. What does will mean? It's like your decisions, what you want. You're the best. Your Lord. I want your will to be done. It's saying, actually, God, you know better than me. You have your way. So that's your will be done. It's not just coming to God. Here's my shopping list. I want all of these things. This order is so important because we go, God, your will be done. Not mine. Then this very last bit on earth as it is in heaven. I just want you to stop for a minute. Stop. Think about heaven. Amazing. Heaven is a perfect place. Everything in heaven is amazing. It's perfect. So when we say your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, we want the things of God to come to earth. 1 John 5 verse 14 says, We are confident that He hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases Him. And we can see that by praying like this, it takes us on a journey of prayer. Before we start praying all the things that we need and thinking about ourselves, we actually go through this and say, God, your name. God, you're amazing. God, you are our Father in heaven. You are holy. We think about His kingdom. God, you're king. You're the best. I want your kingdom to come. I want your best. I want God's prayer list. That's what I want to be praying. I want to agree with heaven. This is the start of the Lord's Prayer. As you can tell, I'm going so fast trying to fit it all in. There's so much in this. But your daily prayer challenge for this week is, I want you to learn the Lord's Prayer. Say it every day. Learn the Lord's Prayer. Read it until you get it in your mind because this is a great model for us to pray with. All right, amazing. See you next week.